In this video, we're going to be looking at the first part of forces. So I hope you still remember a little bit from your physics GCSE. Now, everything in this chapter revolves around the famous formula F equals MA. And that formula was given to us by Newton. It's known as Newton's second law. In the formula F equals MA, the F is for the force, the M is for mass, and with mass, when we normally tell each other our weights, we're actually telling each other our mass because what we tell each other is in kg. For example, if somebody tells me how much do I weigh, I'll say 75 kg. But what I'm really saying is my mass. And A is for acceleration, just as it is in SUVAT. So let us go ahead and begin. Okay, so we've got a car here and it's a toy car. So there's two forces applied to this car. There's a 20 Newton force trying to push it forward. And that's probably the motor of the car. I've used my son's electric car in this video. So the car's got a 20 Newton force trying to push it forward. And it's got a resistive force of four Newtons. And that four Newton resistive force is probably due to the surface it's on. And we normally refer to that as friction. However, we'll talk a little bit more about friction in another video. So what we want to do in these sort of situations is work out the acceleration of the car. Of course, we know the car is going to speed up and accelerate forwards. So we want to work out the acceleration. And how do we do that? We use that formula, F equals MA. Now, what is F? Because we've got two forces here. To find out what F, you need to resolve the forces. Now, these numbers are easy. Looking at these two forces, you know, it's 20 forward and it's four backwards. So overall, there's a large amount forward. And by how much? And you could probably easily work that out in your head. It's 16. And that's what F becomes, the resultant of all the forces. Now, although you can do this in your head here, I'm going to show you how to write that out, which will help in slightly tougher questions when you've got a lot of forces. And it's also very important for your working out. So the examiner can see exactly what you've done. So this R here I've written just means resolving. I'm just saying to the examiner, I'm resolving my forces. I've put an arrow to the left to say the left direction is positive. So any force which is to the left, I'm going to put down as positive. Any force to the right, I'm going to put down as negative. So let's resolve these forces. So 20 is positive, so we can put that down as a positive 20. And that 4 is in the other direction. Opposite to the direction we said was positive, so it's going to be minus 4. So these are our forces. And all of this is equal to MA. And we know the mass of the car is 80 kg, so the M is 80. And the A, of course, we're trying to work out, we don't know, so we'll just write it as A. So we fill in that formula, F equals MA. Simplifying this, we get 16 equals 80A. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, that 16, we can just do it mentally, but we need to show our working out like I've done here. So how did we do it? We resolve the forces and we chose a positive direction. The 20 was positive and the four was negative, giving us that 16. Okay, so let's carry on and find out what A is. So we just need to make A the subject, divide both sides by 80. And of course we get A equals 0 0.2. And that's how you use that formula. Let's try another one. Okay, so here my son's jumped in the car. So it weighs a little bit more. It's gone from 80 kg to 100 kg. And we can also see the resistive force has also changed. It's now become eight Newtons. So let's do it all again. Let's find the new acceleration. If you feel like you can already do it and show the working out exactly how we did, pause the video and try it. Otherwise I'll carry on and show you how to do that. Okay, so 
we wrote that R for resolving, just to show the example we're going to resolve the forces. Now, if you're thinking which direction do we put as positive, my rule is I just put the direction it's initially moving in as positive. Now we can clearly see that it's going to be moving to the left. So I just chose that as my positive direction. Okay, so let's put those forces on. So we've got the 20 newtons and that's positive. And the 8 newtons is negative. And the resultant of those forces is equal to MA. So our M here is 100 this time. And A, of course, we don't know. We're trying to work that out. Let's simplify that. And lastly, make A the subject. And of course, we get A equals 0 0.12. So as we expected, the acceleration has reduced since now we've got my son in there. Okay, so let's have a look at this question. So take a moment and read it. So we've got a particle of mass 0 0.5 kg and it starts at rest and speeds up to 20 meters per second and it takes five seconds to do that. And we also know the particle has a force F newtons applied to it and it also has a resistive force of six newtons. And we need to find the value of that unknown force F newtons. So let's start with a little diagram. So we've got our particle there. Now there's two forces we need to put on. We'll put the F to the right and we've got that resistive force as well. And that's to the left. So these are our forces on the diagram. Now, if you're very good with your SUVAT, what you should have noticed is in the question, three pieces of information are given regarding SUVAT. We know it starts at rest, so its initial velocity is zero. We know it speeds up to 20, so V equals 20. And we know it took a time of five seconds, so we know the time too. So we know three pieces of information, and that's exactly what you need with all SUVAT formulas. You need three known pieces of information to work out a fourth. Now with that formula, F equals MA, we know A comes into play, acceleration. So it'd be nice to work out what acceleration is. I'm sure it's gonna help us with this question. So since we can do that, let's go ahead and do that first. So let's list the information we know from the question regarding SUVAT. And I'll give you a moment to guess the formula we need to use to work out A here. And you should have said V equals U plus AT. So let's go ahead and fill it in. And we can simplify this. And finally make A the subject. And we get A equals 4. Now I'm sure that's going to help us because we know in Newton's second law we have acceleration in there. So let's now start resolving the forces. So of course we're going to use that famous formula F equals MA. And since it's moving to the right, I put right as my positive direction. Let's resolve all the forces to work out the F part of that formula F equals MA. So we've got that unknown F value to the right and that's positive. And the six I've put down as negative because it's opposite the direction we called the positive direction. And that's equal to MA. And of course we know the mass is 0 0.5. However, we do know what A is so we can fill that in. We worked it out in the SUVAT on the right. So we replaced the A with four since we've worked it out on the right. And we can simplify this. And lastly, we just need to move the minus six to the other side and we know what F is. Brilliant, we've worked out that F equals eight. And that'll be eight Newtons. So in this question, we had a bit of forces combined with SUVAT. And you can expect things like this. And with forces, it's going to get a lot more difficult. These are very simple examples we've done. So my advice to you would be to practice loads of questions on this. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.